I just want to say thank you to a lot of churches and a lot of places, a lot of people, friends, who've loved my family and me over the last 43 years. I won't mention everybody, I'd miss someone. I'll mention a few occasions, the Vacation Bible School, where in a small church we had over a hundred kids and the director was scared to death. And I said, well, it's great. And she said, yes, that is a good thing, isn't it? And there's a food pantry where we fed 450 people every month, but we had to have a lot of help from volunteers and those who uh, were from the community and from several churches. There's uh, the opportunity to serve on the Children's Home Board and finding out just how the church is so good to help young people in need of love and care. I'm thankful for Camp Lucon, where I met my wife and where we started dating when she was the dean and I was a counselor at a fifth and sixth grade music camp. I want to thank Doris for all that she has been so helpful with over the years. She calls herself a fourth generation minister's spouse. She should have known better what she was getting into. I also want to thank our daughters, Jennifer and Stephanie, and our grandson, James, and they have brought much joy and excitement to our lives. I want to thank the preachers and lay people, the district superintendents, bishops, leaders and friends who made our lives very special. Most of all, I want to thank God for calling me to be a part of the church. Retirement happens, but the church goes on forever. This is Arthur Wayne Watts coming to you. Many people call me Wayne and it's a privilege here to say my goodbyes through this video. And I want to thank the Kentucky Annual Conference and the laity for loving us and taking care of us. And I know for some of you, it's been difficult for you to love me as uh, other people have been difficult too for us to love, but God is good with us all the time. I want to thank Nancy for sticking with me and staying with me through all the many areas we've been from over in Eastern Kentucky to Western Kentucky to Kentucky. And we plan to retire in, in Central Kentucky. So God has been so good and gracious to us. And so we are planning on retiring and of course spending more time with our children and grandchildren. And we're looking forward to that time. In closing, I'd like to read a passage from Romans 8 that is important to me. And it's not the one on 826, but down about the to verse 38, Romans 8, 38. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor demons, nor neither the present nor the future, nor powers or height, nor death, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. And I like that little phrase, or anything else. God is gracious and God is good. Thank you, the Kentucky Annual Conference and the laity. God bless you.